You've been involved in this project for a really long time. So, long time. Yeah, six years, I think, right? Yeah. So tell me, um, why didn't it happen then? And what at what point did it happen? And then you only had 10 months to film it. So how did it all? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it didn't happen then for a variety of reasons. Um, one, the... Uh, I don't think the time was right. Uh, the, it, it makes fun of the genre in a way that there hadn't been enough critical mass built up for it to make fun of. Uh, and, I, I, and I think, number two, there hadn't been this history of, of superhero movies being so successful. Sure, some had, but um, it hadn't been enough. Three, I think you have to move through all the obvious stories about superheroes before you get to stuff that is maybe a little deeper in the library that can be told. Four, Simon Kimberg wasn't there to help us. Wow, that's nice. And then how did you get on board? I got on board um, because the writers, uh, Rhett and Paul, um, wrote me an email. Um, and the title of the email was, Deadpool Needs Your Ass. <laughs> and then when I opened up the email, it continued the word ass into assistance. Um, <laughs> I said, we're, we're, we, we have a lot of momentum, but it would help um, if you gave it a little push uh, at Fox, because I've made a lot of movies there, and I work on the X-Men movies. and. They thought for whatever reason um, my support would would help and and the movie really was at that point like at the I don't know if this will resonate I don't know the soccer equivalent but um, in in U.S. football there's like a hundred yards basically to get to the touchdown touchdown end zone and the movie was at like the one yard to go really and it just needed a little extra push to get it get it over that last yard and. Um, and maybe I helped supply that uh, because the studio does, to some extent, There's no maybe. Tr trust tr trust uh, my perspective. And and really, what they said was, okay, fine. You think it's a good idea to make the movie? The fans clearly think it's a great idea to make the movie. You guys can go make the movie for almost no money, because <laughs> compared to the X Men movies that we work on, Still. this is a it's it's a lot of money in the real world, but it is a fraction of the cost mm -hmm. of every other superhero movie that's made today. And and then it came back to the filmmaker, and they said to Tim, can you make this movie for this budget? And a lot of filmmakers would have been afraid of that. Um, and Tim was like, yeah, give it to me. Let's go. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> <laughs> Worked out to be um, not so ignorant. Yeah. How hard was it? I mean, the studio wasn't really believing in it at first, right? So how hard is it it's to pull something It's a different movie. Off? I mean, you know, studios and, and corporations in general are not predisposed to taking chances. Mm. They don't like to gamble. They like sure things. They like to repeat. Um, things that have already been successful. So to, to do something that's unconventional, that is inappropriate, um, that is going to push boundaries, uh, is not something that a, a major corporation that has a lot of different responsibilities is going to be excited about doing automatically. But I will say that once they, once they defined the box, that this is the amount of risk that we're willing to take, they left us alone. Totally. Yeah, and yes, they were right. behind all the choices which... You know, quite honestly, probably should have scared them a little mm. bit, including the first-time director mm. up there, mm. unsupervised, That's hours aw hours away. Um, who knows? I mean, my drug addictions could have come back. My predilection, <laughs> wow. my predilection. Okay, just, uh, <laughs> these are <laughs> not going to read his jokes. Is the problem. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> no. They, uh, but they they were so supportive of the movie. Once mm. once the train yeah. left the station, um, it was great. Do you remember like when you actually broke records with it? Like, are you going like, all right, I told you so? Or what was your first thought when you like saw how well you did? It wasn't I told you so. Mm, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, because who could think? That it was going to do that. I mean, yeah. that was like a, you know a lightning strike. Um, no, my uh, honestly, it was purely selfish. Which is, I get to make more movies. Thank God, because if if not if it's not successful, you go to director jail and you mm -hmm. you never get a chance. And there's a lot of stories that I'd like to tell with this character. There's a lot of other stories I'd I'd like to tell. So that was it. And then I was happy for everybody else. I mean, Ryan so deserved a big huge yes. hit and. Yeah. Uh, and so I was, you know, and Fox needs money. They really, <laughs> they, needed, they needed a lot of money. And I, I, was so, I was so happy for Simon. Simon's destitute. Um, he needed the money. Um, I was just happy for them. I actually think it's a good thing for, I was happy for everybody that made the movie. That was my first instinct. I was relieved, to be honest. Um, and I also think it's a good thing that a movie that is different um, in many, many ways is wildly successful. I think it encourages studios to make more um, original themed, original toned um, movies. So that was sort of my third or fourth 
response <laughs> after also just being like, this is bullshit. These have to be the wrong numbers. They're, they're, they're moved, they moved the comma in the wrong direction. But yeah. yeah.